what makes Shopify better than Etsy? So this is based upon my experience, and I'm going to give you a side-by-side -side breakdown of their fees to let you know what you can expect. So let me give you basic my starter. I started with Etsy in 2011. I still have it. I'm still going to keep it. I'm just scaling back on how many items that I have on there because their fees and everything just add up to so much. Shopify, I started in 2015. I did leave it in 2020 because I wasn't selling as much and so Etsy was just easier. Also, when I left Shopify originally, you had to purchase an additional shipping program. So like I used stamps and that was an additional $15 a month on top of what I was already paying and it just wasn't worth it. Shopify has fixed that. They have the ability to print shipping labels through them now. So that sealed the deal for me to go back to them. I'm really excited about that. Now, let me give you kind of the breakdown. Etsy has no monthly fee. Shopify does. Shopify's is $39 a month starting, or if you pay a full year in advance, they are $29 a month. That's the option I chose. You can add in extra apps and things like that to make your website even better, but honestly, they're not necessary. But that is an added cost and something to consider in there. Etsy has a 20 cent listing fee. Shopify does not. Etsy takes 6.5% of your total order. Shopify does not. That 6.5 does not include the credit card processing fee, which is Etsy's credit card processing fee is 3.5% plus 25 cents. Shopify's is 2.9% plus 30 cents. So Shopify's credit card processing fee is less. Etsy. If you enact their offsite ads, if you enable that, which you don't have to, but I mean, it kind of does help bring in some extra sales. If that ad brings in a sale, they take an additional 15%. You don't have any of that with Shopify. Now with that said, Etsy does do, you know, everybody knows the name Etsy. They know to go there. There's, you know, great traffic flow. So there's that advantage to Etsy. Whereas Shopify, you're going to have to build your clientele. You're going to have to do your marketing. And, you know, somebody like me who's pretty out there and well-known, that might not, that's not a problem. But somebody who's new, that might be. So I would actually recommend having both. Having some items, especially ones that are real eye-catching, great sellers and things like that, over on your Etsy. And then adding a business card in there that says, hey, for even more items, go check out my website. And that way you can redirect them over to Shopify. So I actually recommend having both because I think both are really going to help. But otherwise... Shopify's fees are way better.